Hi YouTube, it's your girl P. I'm back at you guys with another video. I know I haven't put out a video in a little while, but I'm putting out this video because I wanted to give you guys another update about what's been going on. So, I am officially back to being a stay-at-home mom. Yes, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I um, put my two weeks in today for Walmart. Um, it it was it. I, I mean, I really didn't want to because I like making my own money, but I didn't have no choice because my boyfriend got a second job, which makes more money, and it cut in to the time when I had to be at work, and we only had one vehicle, so. I had to make that, dis well, we had to make that decision where I had to leave Walmart. And um, so now I'm back at being a stay-at-home mom. Um, I mean, I had fun for my little six months of working. Um, you know, once everything gets back on track, I would, you know, be looking for another job or whatever. You know, we just need to get another vehicle and get really settled into what we're trying to do regarding um, our future and our family goals. Um, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a bittersweet moment, but at the same time, I'm kind of relieved because I was getting a little tired, you know, of stalking and everything. But you have to do what you had to do when, you know, you have when you was the only one bringing in the income or whatever. But now since he has his second job and he's bringing in more money and, you know, that's just how the cards are dealt. Um, there was drama at Walmart, like, you know, the catty drama that I've been seeing on YouTube that people be talking about or, you know, just in general. And that was getting a little to me because um, it was getting under my skin because I was, like, really getting tired of the drama. I was really getting tired of having these people with the nose all turned up and just having these little catty attitudes and then the fakeness with these females were just out of control. Like, like seriously, I couldn't deal with the fakeness and, like, I just couldn't do it. And um, if I didn't have that option of me having to quit, I would still be working and still just going there, doing my work, and then going home. But, I mean, it's kind of a relief because I don't have to deal with the drama and I don't have to deal with wanting to put my hands on people and losing my job the wrong way. So, hey, you know. But, um, until, you know, everything gets back right, I will be, look, like, going looking for another job. Maybe a job that I really like or maybe a job that's, I have my certificate in, which is a certified medical assistant. Um, so, yeah, but until then, I'm just going to be a stay-at-home mom, um, do what I've been doing before I even started working, and just continue to do that. So, hopefully, God continues to bless us, and which he has been doing lately, and, like, like I've been telling my boyfriend, like, when he wasn't working or whatever, he was just having his one job. I said, just stay in faith. You know, someone's going to call, someone's going to call, and someone did call. And it came out to be more money plus on top of his other job. So, I feel like we're good. We're going to, you know, we're going to do good or whatever. We're going to be okay. Especially remaining positive and staying faithful in the Lord and knowing that he got us and that we got each other and that we're going to make it, you know, whether we have family around or whether we don't have family around, we're still going to make it. And like, I'm happy, you know, it is sad because I'm going to be losing out on money that, you know, that's, you know, who doesn't like making their own money, you know, come on now. But hey, if your man is making the money and has to become the breadwinner, breadwinner, so be it. I mean, that's how it should be anyway. Like, the man should be making the money. The wife should be at home. But in this economy, both people got to work, you know. And eventually, I will get another job. But at this time, at this moment, I cannot work right now. Um, But I'm going to stay faithful. I'm going to stay positive. Remain positive. Remain with a smile on my face. Um, 
I mean, being a stay-at-home mom isn't easy. It really isn't. And there's a lot of people who do it, and I know that they get stressful and all overwhelmed and everything like that. But sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. But I'm okay. I'm okay with it. You know, like I said, I will find another job. We just need to get where we need to be, where we want to be, in order for me to obtain and go out looking for another job. So I'm good right now. So I just wanted to come on here and give you guys a little update about what's been going on with me because I haven't been posting any videos or anything like that. And I got a new phone. Um, remember I had done my update on my iPhone, like unboxing my iPhone 5S? Well, something went wrong with that whole situation where I had to sell it and blase blase. So I went out and I just bought a whole nother iPhone 5S and this one is better. I'm recording on it now. Um, I had also bought some cases um, that I will be having a case collection but let me get my case collection up because i've been seeing so many cases at the dollar store that are so cute and family dollar and i want to order some cases off of amazon so let me get my case game back up like i had for my iphone 6 plus and then i'm gonna do another case um collection but um i just want to tell you guys again like i haven't forgot about you guys um I love your guys' support. Um, I love that you guys are continuous, continuing to stay subscribed to me. And for the ones who are coming into my channel, please hit that button below and subscribe. Like my videos. Um, now that I have my new phone and I have new apps, I'm also going to do a what's on my iPhone video. So stay tuned for that because I want to show you guys... Um, my phone what's on my iphone some apps that i had downloaded that i seen on um what's on my iphone videos so i want to show you guys that so stay tuned for that um but yeah i'm good you know it's like i said it's bittersweet but i'm okay you know i'm okay with it you know back being home back being a stay-at-home mom but it's not gonna be for long it is a temporary thing but like i said my man is making his bread you know, providing for the family, which it should be. And I'm going to just do what I have to do at home. You know, keep up the house. You know, take care of the kids and do what I have to do. You know? And, um, so yeah, you guys. Like, that is just a little update of what's been going on. Um, but yeah. Like, Walmart... I liked Walmart. Don't get me wrong. I liked it. I liked the job. I did. There was some people that I was, um, convers not like conversing, but there was like a, like some people I would talk to or whatever that were cool, mad cool. And then there are some people who are just fake <laughs> and I can't not deal with the fakeness. But yeah, but I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that, I mean, I had to let the job go, but then on the other hand, I'm not because I like making my own money, but my man is making his bread. And if I ever needed something, I wanted something, he's right there to do it for me or give it to me. So, I'm good. And, um, yeah. And so, I mean, stay tuned for more videos. Like I said, I just got my phone. And I'm going to be doing more videos. They're going to be more, um, edited. So, yeah. But... You guys have a wonderful and blessed night. You guys be safe on this crazy ass Black Friday that, that they're about to start having. Because I know Walmart already starting. They process. They start Thursday at 6 p.m. So I know it's going to be crowded as hell. If y'all ain't been there when the games are, you think it's crowded when they be having football games and concerts. Oh my God, I just can't imagine. But I get to bypass all of that you know so and i was gonna buy my phone my iphone that day but i bought it earlier because i knew i wasn't gonna work there no more wasn't gonna be working there anymore so yeah but i'm so glad that i get to put this video up for you guys and give you guys a nice little update about what's been going on with me and um if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment box below um i would also like to do a q a so if you guys have any questions, hit me up on all my social medias that will be linked in the description box. Follow my social medias as well. And like again, we're good. God got us. God got us. Like he always have. He always have. 
always will. He has our back no matter what. And he continues to bless. Stay positive. Remain positive. Remain with a smile on your face. Fuck the negativity. Fuck the rest. You know, if nobody else is paying your bills and making you happy, don't worry about it. Don't worry about them. Do you. Remain to do you. Remain to stay positive. Focus on what is right. Focus on your goals. You know, reach your goals. Fuck the rest. If nobody want to help you reach your goals, reach your goals on your own. And once they see you at the motherfucking top, where were you? Where were you when I was here? Where were you when I was below, when I was on the floor? You know, when I was down and out. Where were you? You know what I'm saying? Where were you? Now I'm up, deuces. No, don't ask me for shit. You know, we're doing us. We're doing us. This is my little family. And I'm going to continue to rock for my family. Do what I need to do for my family. That's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care about the rest. I really don't. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, we've been here in Texas for over a year and a half now. And we're continuing to make it. You know, there was some bumps in the road. There was some major bumps in the road. But guess who got us over those bumps? Guess who got us over those obstacles? Him. Up there. Him. One and only. Him putting faith in us. Making us remain positive. Keeping our heads where they need to be. Letting us know that we are not giving up. We are going to continue to strive and do what we need to do for our family. I know I just had to say all that. But yeah, it's the truth. And it's the real. Straight up and down. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, do you remain positive? You know, I'm good. Me and my family are good. We're happy. You know, I was a little bit sad because I had to leave. But, I mean, Texas is just right around the corner, boo. We about to be in the house. We about to get another car. And that's not because of us. It's because of God. Because he helped us. That's what it was. Because he put that faith into us. Knowing that we're going to make it. That we're going to get this money. We're going to get what we need to get. And we're going to be okay. Stay positive. Remain faithful in the Lord. You know, you might not go to church every day on Sunday, and that's okay. As long as you stay positive, you remain faithful in Him, you know, and all of that. Leave the bullshit, the negativity to the side. Put it to the side. You know, it don't matter. That don't make you who you is. Like, forget that. Make your money, boo-boo. For real. Fuck the rest. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. That's what it is, you know. So, you know, like I said again, I'm happy. I'm staying faithful, remaining positive, like I said. And I will be coming back with y'all with more videos. Best believe that, you know. And I do want to apologize because I have not been posting videos for you guys. And I, I love you guys. I love all my subscribers, my new subscribers. I love you all, you know. And... That's what it is. So you guys have a wonderful and blessed night. Like I said, be safe on the on this weekend of this crazy ass Black Friday. Y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. You know, eat all the turkey and ham and cheese spaghetti and greens and all that good yummy stuff. Y'all have it all. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed night. Bye.